Hi, I'm Brian Nash from How We Got Here Genealogy. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, two DNA testing sites or companies that, that I've used, and I'm just going to do a, a comparison of them to um, help you make a decision if you're looking to do a DNA test. Um, so I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm just going to look at what most people when they are looking buying a DNA test are looking for is finding out about their ethnic origins. Um, so before we get into it, I just want to remind you if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video so I'll know that you want to see more content like this. So uh, the first test I did was for my heritage. So I'm going to look at that first. And when, my heritage, it's a when you get your results, it, there's a there's it plays a little fun video that sort of gives you a breakdown of your family. I'm not going to play that. I'm just going to sort of show you the, the results and talk to you a little bit about how they got them. Um, so in the my heritage, it has me as 78.7 percent Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. 10 um, percent. 10.7 percent sorry uh, Balkan and 6.1 percent Finnish and 4.5 percent Greek and South Italian now my genealogy and the family that I've been able to trace back um, have on my dad's side is Irish um, my my father's my father's family going back um, to the generations I've been able to research are from Ireland my likewise my mother's family um, generations going back I know are directly from Scotland um, and that I'm more certain than um, actually my father's side there's a couple spots on my father's side where I haven't quite gotten it back to Ireland but they are Irish names so I'm making an assumption um, so where does this Balkan and Finnish come in in the Greek it's it's hard to say honestly um, the the way they do these tests uh, both these tests use similar methods is they are comparing them to other samples um, that people have identified of uh, certain heritage by looking at their family tree their family tree information um, and then their ancestors um, this can change from time to time uh, on both of them the percentages will change you'll get updates and telling you hey um, your ethnicity Matt, uh, your ethnicity estimates have changed, um, and I, I find that they don't really change too much. Um, so my suspicion on this is that there are some um, people that have DNA that I match. There's in the certain segments and that do identify as Balkan, Finnish, and Greek, and specifically those sections might. Um, that could be through migration patterns, uh, and honestly, though I said. I was, I knew my mom's side was all Scottish, my dad's side was all Irish, or at least I was pretty sure it was. Um, I did expect to see some other things, um, but these aren't the areas I was suspect, uh, suspecting to see. Um, if you want to watch a little more detail, I do have a video about that where I specifically examine my, my heritage results. Um, but for today's purpose, I'm just going to sort of give you an overview here. Um, the other thing is, if you notice that um, this has um, these these are different groupings they'll give you a little bit of information on them um, sort of where they are and, and sort of what the what the uh, the grouping is um, these are again specific ancestral communities or people who they've identified came from Ireland and Scotland these here are sort of the communities that they were in and um, the communities that they um, settle to. So likewise if we look at the the ancestry DNA you'll see here um, I have 58 percent Scottish, 42 percent Irish and I do have one in ancestry they call them communities, the Scottish Highlands and Islands um, where it does give me some information of, and it, I can actually get a timeline it shows where the immigration patterns are these neat thing it does tie into my family tree and in the timeline it will point out people that I'm related to that I have in my family tree and sort of where they would fit in um, again this is based on 
their results from the people who have done their test and what they've identified and matching us up like that. Um, so which test, if you're just looking for your ethnicity, is better? Um, is it the one that, like I have here, that I know is pretty accurate, 58 42%? Or is it this one here that has all these extra things? Um, I want to say, really, to be honest, um, it all depends on what your ethnic groups are. I, I do like that in, uh, unlike here in my heritage, when I go over and I look at um, ancestry, it breaks down. It's just not one UK group. Um, of Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, because there is a difference in the people. Um, though they're all Celtic, um, there are definite differences through uh, throughout the, the the years, and they've been well established communities in the UK. Um, so it's I I do like um, ancestry for that aspect. Um, I like the timeline here, and really. Uh, when I compare them, I would, I would say, if you're going to do just one, do ancestry. Um, and I want to show you the reason I say that. Be whether you like the results or how accurate you think they are, this is why I would go with ancestry as opposed to my heritage. Um, if I was just to do one, uh, it's always good to do from multiple sources. Um, but if you're just looking for your ethnicity, go with the ancestry. The reason is because on all these DNA sites, you can download your information. Um, it will download it in a file, um, but only some, some of the companies actually let you upload it. MyHeritage is one of those sites that allows you to upload your information from another DNA um, company. and. I'm, for instance, here, if you'll notice, this is my original, my heritage information. Um, but I have my, my ancestry information and the file that I downloaded from there, and I can upload this into my heritage. Um, you'll see here, I can choose, the AN tells me that it's from Ancestry DNA. I just want you to take a look at these numbers because these are going to change. Um, remember, I said they use. Uh, test my DNA against existing models and stuff. Well, even though it's the same DNA that's in me, uh, each of them company do test for different things, and it's also possible that when I do one test over the other, um, the DNA that is picking up, it's getting a better reading of certain uh, s strands of DNA um, that weren't picked up in the other test. So you're going to notice the numbers change, even though they're using the same um, comparison groups. It's the DNA that was provided and the information is just a little different. Um, so you notice my Irish, Scottish, and Welsh jump, my Balkan, Finnish, and Greek all jumped down. Um, this was over 10%. This was um, 6.4. This was 4.5. So there are some definite changes. The other interesting thing I found in here is these groups. Previously, I had the UK and Ireland 12, UK and Ireland 8, and this one, Canada, Newfoundland, and USA, Massachusetts. I now have a, Scot a general Scotland group, uh, a Canada, which is Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Ontario, USA, Massachusetts, and, and Australia, New South Wales. And then I have um, another one that's Canada, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and USA, Massachusetts. And I also have England. So... Again, that has to do with that little bit of extra information they gather. Um, I actually, if I look at it, um, which I'll be doing in a future video, um, some of the matches, I'll, I'll be able to see I even have a, a stronger match with people that are um, on this. So, if you're looking for just a, to do your, your ethnicity estimates, what I would definitely recommend, both these companies are great. Uh, I do find them, for the most part, like I said, accurate um, with my own my own knowledge. Even in the ones when I um, show that I have matches with um, 
Balkan and some of the Balkan and the the Greek and the Finnish. I actually found those people in my ancestry uh, related to the Scottish side of my family. So I was able to match them up. So we're if you're looking for accuracy, um, definitely both are really good. A lot's going to depend on the groups, um, and it's going to depend on what you believe your ethnic origins is, where you might want to to go. Um, one of the things I know with my heritage, if you have um, Jewish origins, it can actually uh, it does a better job of separating Sephardic and um, Ashkani Jew, uh, Jewish Judaism, it, it, or ancestry, it can separate them. It tends to separate them a little better than some of the other ones. Um, I know my wife is has Finnish in her background, and her she has a large number of Finnish people that she wind up showing. So there's a lot of different reasons why you might choose one over the other. But if you're just looking to get a broad idea of what your ancestry origin is, because you're not sure. Um, Definitely, I would go with uh, the ancestry, um, only because you can also take that information and upload it to my heritage, so you get sort of the best of both worlds. Um, that being said, whenever you go to buy these, either of these or any of the other um, DNA testing, um, I really recommend looking around holidays. They have some great holiday sales. Sales that can sometimes be thirty to 45% off um, their their packages, uh, which is a, is a great savings. Um, the other thing I really recommend um, is if you're getting one for yourself and you have your parents are both still alive or even one of them, get a test for them too. It really can help you um, figure out what what side of the, the, the heritage is showing from which family. Um, for instance, if I had my mother do one, I'm sure that she would show up I, mostly Scottish, uh, which would confirm that what I already know that my Scottish side, uh, my percentage is actually hers. Likewise, my father. Um, in fact, uh, my father's passed away, but I have his brother, which is the next best thing. He had, he had done a, a test and uh, on ancestry, and when looking at that, I, I definitely see, well, this is where um, these relatives match uh, and this heritage matches. Uh, so again, I just want to, you know, tell you it's a good thing to take a DNA test. I'm going to go into a few other videos where I'm going to detail some of the other differences um, that if you're looking to build out a family tree and exp and find and make those relative connections, which which sites might be better for you or what features they have offer um, to help you do your family tree. So uh, I just want to thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe and like this video um, so you can uh, get notified and ring the bell too so you can get notified about the my next upcoming video and thanks again for watching and keep searching for your ancestors.